When the effort is so big and the need so great, they measure the aid and contributions in the thousands. I am in charge of all the items from the humanitarian help to distribute to all the members and non-members uh, that their home have been destroyed. 5,000 personal care kits, 3,000 liters of water, 2,000 food boxes, and the list goes on and on. All of it headed from this staging area in New Zealand to the country and island chain of Vanuatu, where Cyclone Pam claimed many lives and ravaged more than 90% of the buildings in the hardest hit areas on March 13th. When the cyclone hit, I thought, I'm going to die or I'm going to lose my family. When we came out, we saw that everything was gone. The place was changed, not like before, it was really changed. And when we went over, when I went home, my house was not there. I don't know where the roof was. The clothes and everything inside the house was just destroyed. Vanuatu lies 1,000 miles from the northeastern coast of Australia, and news of the devastation has since inspired Mormon helping hands in the area to rebuild some 20 temporary homes and shelters. My husband went out with the other brothers in the church. They went and build the houses of those members that have been destroyed. And the work continues with the delivery of supplies. In addition to food, water, and hygiene kits, there are tools, tents, and gardening seeds delivered by the church and its members where the need is most pressing and locally understood by those who live there. I feel so good. I feel the Spirit of the Lord is with me, and I ask Him to, before I do all the things, I ask the Lord, to help me so that all, everything that I do, I just, we distribute them equally to all the members and non-members of the church.